Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. This is the new Raspberry Pi Zero. It's a very much smaller, trimmed down version of the Raspberry Pi available for just $5 or this month only free on the cover of the Magpie magazine. Yes, you heard that correctly. So let's have a walk around the board and see what it's got. These two holes are in the standard hat positions either side of an unpopulated 40-way header. Here you have your micro SD card slot. Here you have your BCM2835 processor with the memory on top. Notably, there's 512 megabytes of RAM on the Pi Zero. Over here you have your run header, which is the reset header. Shorting that resets the Pi. Here you have a header marked TV. This is the composite header, but it's unpopulated. If you want to use composite output, you can solder a connector to that. Here we have some power circuitry. It's a bit simplified from the A plus circuit. And here you have your micro USB power in. Over here you have another micro USB connector. To use the USB port on the Pi Zero, you'll need an on the go USB cable. This is a mini HDMI connector. You'll either need a mini HDMI to HDMI adapter or a cable with a mini on one end and a full size on the other. As you can see, there are no components on the rear of the board, just an unpopulated JTAG header and lots of test points. This is one of the ways they've managed to make it cheaper to manufacture. This board is half the width of a Model A Plus or a standard hat. Other notable features about the Pi Zero are that it's clocked by default to 1 GHz and the level 2 cache is clocked at a faster speed than on the original Raspberry Pi as well. Talking to Eben last week, he said it should have something like 30 to 40% more processing power than the original Raspberry Pi had. Add to that that it's got more RAM than the A+, it's going to be $5 and it's a significant improvement. As you can see here it's 65 centimeters by 3 centimeters if you include the sticking out micro USB ports. Okay let's boot the Pi Zero and see how long it takes and how it does. Okay let's open a terminal window. Start a video clip. Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. So this is for you, Scone. You asked for this. This is the Raspi GPIO ruler. As you can see, it looks and feels just like a Raspberry Pi. I'm amazed that Raspberry Pi have managed to get this so cheap, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it on the cover of the Magpie. You can also get them from the Pie Hut, the Swag Store, and there will be a few other vendors as well. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.